Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How the President can keep the Supreme Court in check. The system of checks and balances in the U.S. government ensures that no single branch of government becomes too powerful. The president, as the head of the executive branch, has several mechanisms to influence and check the power of the Supreme Court. Nomination and confirmation of justices. The president has the authority to nominate Supreme Court justices. This power allows the president to shape the ideological balance of the court as they typically nominate individuals who align with their political and judicial philosophies. The nomination process is a significant check because it gives the president an opportunity to influence the court's future decisions. Influence through ideological alignment. When a vacancy arises on the Supreme Court, the president's nomination can alter the court's ideological balance. For instance, if a president nominates a justice who is more aligned with their party's views, it can reduce the likelihood of future majority opinions that conflict with those views. This long-term impact is due to the life tenure of federal judges, which means their appointments can have lasting effects even after the president has left office. Executive discretion in enforcement. While less common, the president can also challenge the Supreme Court's decisions through discretionary enforcement. Historically, there have been instances where the president has chosen not to enforce a court ruling. For example, in the case of Worcester v. Georgia, 1832, President Andrew Jackson refused to enforce the court's decision, leading to its effective disregard. This approach, though not frequently used, highlights the executive branch's ability to question and challenge the court's legitimacy. Legislative cooperation. Although the president does not have direct legislative power, they can work with Congress to pass legislation that limits the court's jurisdiction or modifies the impact of a court decision. Congress has the authority to change the court's jurisdiction and the president can support or lobby for such legislative changes. This cooperative approach between the executive and legislative branches can serve as a check on the judicial branch's power. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.